Hi, I'm Jennifer Howard, and I used to work for the Television Academy, the Archive Project, as an interviewer, researcher, and uh, just all around uh, good time gal. Cartoons, I was big in cartoons. Uh, any Looney Tunes, Scooby-Doo, Flintstones, Smurfs. Um, as I got a little older and I watched some sitcoms that weren't really appropriate for me, um, thinking like a threes company for my age, but God, I loved it. That uh, Jack Tripper, I mean, you know, I was kind of in love with him. MASH, again, really inappropriate for a small child, but couldn't love it more. Dynasty, which I actually watched with my parents. We all, you know, enjoyed the, uh, the cat fights on that one together when I was like eight and nine. So, yeah, a lot of good memories of television. So much. I have so many good memories of shows, like I said, from my childhood through the 80s, specific sitcoms, all the classics, um, so many great shows in the 90s. Um, I mean, I was a huge Friends fan in the 90s, and I remember, you know, this was back before the DVR, and so I would, uh, sometimes I'd be out on a Thursday night, and I'd have forgotten to set my, uh, my VCR to record the show, so I'd jump on my giant cell phone to call my grandma, because she could always be counted on to throw a tape in the VCR to record it for me, and I'd pick it up from her on the weekend. So that's kind of how crazy I was about Friends. Um, yeah, and it gave me a really great uh, great career at the TV Academy, at the Archive for so long, met really great people, interviewed amazing, amazing TV pioneers. Um, yeah, and to this day, it's just one of the, the best memories I have working here. I've got a couple. I mean, I had some really great ones, you know? I, my first one was Barbara Eden. She was so kind and warm and delightful, and she'd been interviewed a million times, which makes it easy when it's your first one and you're scared to death of ruining it. Um, so she was a delight. I loved uh, Bill Melendez from the uh, the Charlie Brown specials. Um, he was the kindest, just giddiest old man to chat with. So cute. And afterwards, uh, we discovered we both had a love for USC. And he drew me a Snoopy, giving me fight on. So that's a that's a that's an important one for me. Um, I was really excited to uh, meet uh, Roy Disney Jr. Um, from the Disney family. That was a really exciting opportunity to chat with him. Um, I just I have so many great memories. Um, Nanette Fabre, Eleanor Donahue, these wonderful women who played these, you know, in these great sitcoms and shows in the day, back in the day, and they just they made my job easy. You know, it was just like having a chat with a friend. Harvey Corman, Tim Conway. I mean, Harvey was another one of my favorite interviews. You think you're going to get somebody who's so funny that you got that with Tim Conway. With Harvey, he was so introspective and thoughtful that it was one of the most interesting interviews I had just because I, I had no idea these things about him and I didn't really think that he would have that depth about him talking about his comedy and his career. And it was a wonderful conversation that actually like, really moved me afterwards. Like, was really touched by our conversation. And did you go to Jonathan Winters too? I went to that one. Oh my God, that's one of those where as you're standing, you're sitting behind the camera, watching it unfold, similar to Tim Conway, you're just trying not to laugh out loud. You're just trying not to ruin the take by making noise, but he was just, but again, thoughtful and introspective, but then he could say something which was just so goofy and funny, and you're just like, this man is a genius. Seeing Bob Mackey was a wonderful surprise. I interviewed him back in the year 2000, so, a few years ago. He was my second interview and again somebody who was very generous with his time and his thoughtful answers. Um, so seeing him tonight and listening to him tell more stories was just a highlight of being here. Um, I, I'm such a huge fan of him and his work as a costumer. I mean like he was talking about his work with Carol Burnett. I mean I know everybody loves the went with the wind but genuinely everything he did made every sketch funnier. Um, his work was with Cher, the beautiful work he did for her and her, her beautiful costumes on the show for the Oscars. Like, he's, he's just, he's a legend. So I, I was thrilled to interview him. And that's really one of the things that meant the most about me, or for, to me for working here was that I felt like I was doing something really meaningful, like something that at the end of the day, people will remember my contribution. A hundred years from now, people can watch one of the interviews that I did and listen to those conversations that we had. Um, and that, that kind of work is, that still drives me today. I do something completely different in my profession now, but it's that st same kind of trying to find the end of the day satisfaction, knowing you've helped people and you have made a difference um, that, that is long lasting. And so that's really been the biggest, you know, overarching theme for me of working for the archive is just knowing, you know, how important it is to save all these stories. So many of the people, unfortunately, that I interviewed have, are no longer with us, but their stories are, their voices are. And that's just, that's amazing to me. People who will never have the chance to chat with them or hear their stories again can go to this and listen to their, in their own words, talk about their careers.